what do you think happens in terms of do we try to sign anybody i don't know man because when it first broke i thought there was probably like five or six names that kind of popped in my head and like nick Foles, kind of like matt ryan um philip rivers like guys that that are out there and, and they're pretty much done and we've said they've been done for a long time but at this point you know it sounds like we we definitely would need somebody i i I was adamant i'm like i can't do more pj walker and we've already said that i can't do any more pj walker no i if think you, it is 100 percent the right idea to go with dtr I, I i agree and if you watched barry's press conference he basically said i'm i'm good with who he got and i don't think we're going to make any moves and i was just like oh man like and that was before they even announced dtr now there's guys out there and i'll let you kind of tee it up there's yeah. guys out there but i think that the guys that that browns fans are kind of like clapping for like let's say like tom brady tom brady's not coming to cleveland no, I'm he's not coming to Cleveland. I don't even know if he's allowed to because he's a minority owner with the Raiders. I don't know how all that works. Yeah. Um, I thought there was interesting names though. Like Nick Foles, I thought, you know, I know he is awful the last time we saw him, but I'm like, there's guys out there. And when it first happened, my initial thought was really any of these guys would be better. I'm not saying any of them are good, but they would at least like look like they belonged on the football field. You know what I mean? Um, the more I hear about DTR, the more I'm setting myself up for disappointment because I'm I'm anxious to see how he performs. Um, a, a name I just saw before we came on here, a guy who's kind of making his pitch to the Browns, like, hey, sign me, was RG3. And I thought, was interesting. You know, um, he says he, he still runs a 4-3. He says he still trains like he's in the league literally every week just in case something like this because he had to officially retire and he's wanted to get back on teams so he's been keeping himself in shape um I, i'm not saying here saying rg3 carry us to a super bowl but man i would at least i don't know what does it hurt to call him a bring him for you know what you I mean? so he's been in he's been in the building before uh he's mobile he can run he he's been analyzing the game now uh since you know he hasn't been on a roster so he's he knows the game he's played a lot of football but uh, and worst case scenario he's just he's a good locker room guy he's good in Baltimore he's really good for Lamar um so I would give him a call because here's the thing is even if DTR even if you bring him in he, and RG3 even said this like you bring me in and GTR plays well and then you roll with DTR to be the starter he was like I would be a great guy to back him up mm. to, you know to kind of like show the range, show on to be a prey and that kind of thing. Like I was I'm a, I did it for the Lamar. I could do it for him. Um I it sounds to me like he would come in with the right attitude. Uh and, and hopefully DTR rolls out. That'd be a muscle. Yeah. Uh, but worst case scenario, if he gets hurt, I didn't I, I just don't want to watch be able to play anymore. And I and I, I appreciate everything we did and he's fun. But it at the at the end of the day we're really still trying to stay in this thing. And um it's just I mean, if he is a plan, we'll rally around him, but it's just, I, I'd rather, like, if, so I, I would give him, I, I would give him a call. I think he's the rival officer. I name it, I thought it was. I, I think at the end of the day, Andrew Barry owes it to the defense and some of these other skill guys on this team to at least make some calls. You have yes. got to at least make some calls because my thing, and you kind of touched on it. DTR is going to be the starter. Do you want PJ Walker mentoring DTR? Bring in a, at least a veteran guy that knows the ropes a little bit. I'm not saying PJ Walker isn't a isn't like a a, a pro's pro because he's been done everything basically. He's done XFL. He's done he's done everything. He's been everywhere. But I I would just love to bring in a guy that just knows the ropes of how this league works and has been there, done that, and I. I'm not saying that that guy has to be the starter. If DTR, if I, I think there's going to be growing pains. I don't think that he goes into this game and he he throws for 300 yards and four touchdowns. I, if you're thinking that, that's unrealistic. I think we're going to be very run heavy this game. I think the running back trio uh, is going to get a lot of touches. And I think that they just kind of bring him along as the season goes and just see where this thing goes. I mean, 
Uh, that's at our point. I think they they looked at the PJ Walker situation and said, if we want to, if this is the reason we got rid of Baker, they said we this guy in clutch moments makes mistakes and we he can't take us to the places that we want to go. So you can't turn back to PJ Walker and go, hey, we're going to be in some tight games, but you're not going to be able to throw three interceptions and you know allow a strip sack fumble. You can't. I you. And I, I think the fan base would absolutely lose their... You think they're mad now? Just on petty stuff? You cannot turn to him and then you go into Cleveland and let TJ Watt get a strip sack fumble, you know, walking into the end zone. You can't do that. I, I'm, I'm frustrated that we're, we're bringing him in into the situation again because it just feels like the Baltimore situation all again. But at least there's a week of you are the guy. It's not a doubt. It's not an hour before the game. And I I believe coach will have a good game plan where it's it's smart for him. I don't think that it's going to be an open playbook. I think it's going to be very simple. We watched the film. There were guys running around wide open. He just the vision wasn't there. He didn't see the guys. He missed his reads. It was it was ugly. It it wasn't a good game for him. And it's not a knock on him. He's a fifth round rookie quarterback that got tossed into a awful situation at the last at, at the last second. I mean. We all were frustrated about it. I don't think that it takes any value away from who he is going forward. I still think that he can be a talented guy in this league. Um, but we'll see. I I don't I wouldn't expect 40 attempts unless things completely go out of hand. You know what I mean? Like there there's gonna be a game script to this, and I don't I think even if it gets ugly, they won't get off that game script. I don't think they're gonna throw him to the wolves again. I just I can't see that. 